Hello. Welcome to Daily Devotions. Today we shall learn how to turn our worries into meditation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father. Your word says we should meditate on your word day and night. But we are lost when we want to meditate on your words. Please teach us how to meditate, Lord. Show us how to quiet our minds and hearts. And help us to focus our thoughts on you. Grant us the ability to let go of our worries and concerns. And to trust in your love and mercy. As we seek to meditate. We pray that you would reveal yourself to us in new and profound ways. Help us to see your beauty and goodness. And to feel your presence in our lives. May we be filled with a deep sense of peace and joy as we spend time in your presence. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I have heard many people say to me. I am worried that I don't know how to meditate. And I have asked them in return. But do you know how to worry? If you know how to worry over something. Then you can meditate because they are both simply repetitively turning thoughts in our minds. We take in the negative or depressing thought. And we allow it to run slowly through our minds when we are anxious. In much the same way, we can bring up the Word of God. And allow it to run slowly through our minds. Meditation is not something you read about. It is something you practice. What is meditation? Two Hebrew words, Haga and Siyah, are translated as meditation in the Bible. Haga conveys the basic meaning of a low sound as in to groan, to sigh, or to mutter. In Joshua 1.8 we read. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate, Haga, on it day and night. Figuratively Haga refers to inward utterance. The words a man speaks to himself. So we see that Hagger conveys a different picture. Than the English word meditation. Which conveys the idea of a silent mental exercise. In Hebrew thought, to meditate, Hagger. Involves repeating the word of God quietly in a soft, droning sound. The Hebrew word CR on the other hand means meditation, reflection, or musing or going over a matter in one's mind. To give serious consideration to a piece of information or situation. Psalm 1997 says. Oh how I love your law! It is my meditation, CR, all the day. When we are familiar with the word of God it breeds affection. We fall in love with God and his word. And that affection causes us to seek greater familiarity. That love causes us to want to know God better and deeper. So in Hebrew, there is both a mental as well as a verbal aspect to meditation. It is about pondering and thinking. But it is also about saying and groaning. Biblical meditation involves more than silent prayers. Psalm 1914 says. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The second question we ask ourselves is, what is the object of meditation? The object of meditation is the book of the law. Our meditation cannot be on anything but the word of God. That is why a Christian cannot say I am meditating. And then as I am going to clear my mind of all things. And allow the universe to fill me. Our meditation is not on some mantra. But on the word of God. Psalm 1-2 says. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law he meditates day and night. I tried Eastern meditation when I was young. It calls on you to empty your mind. But Biblical meditation tells us to fill our minds with God's word of truth and life. Jesus told his disciples that when an evil spirit goes out of a man, 
he roams about, and when he finds no resting place, he comes back to his former home. And when that home is empty, like your mind is during Eastern meditation, he brings demons that are more wicked than himself. And they make their home there. And your latter state is worse than your first. The third question we shall ask ourselves is, how long must I meditate? Joshua 1.8 says, You shall meditate on it day and night. Where should we meditate? Psalm 4.4 says you can meditate on your bed. Tremble, and do not sin, meditate in your heart upon your bed, and be still. Genesis 24.63 says, Isaac went out to meditate in the field toward evening. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, camels were coming. So we meditate wherever we are, at home, at work, at play. I have sat in the middle of a chaotic meeting. Where everyone was panicking over an impending disaster. I sat quietly pondering over Isaiah 26 3. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Because he trusts in you. And I felt no panic because, the Holy Spirit, shed abroad in my heart that God was in control. And I was at peace, because I believe in God, not the forecasters. Psalm 55 17 says, evening and morning, and at noon. I utter my complaint and moan, and he hears my voice. It is possible to cry out aloud and yet not say a word. That is the bell of the heart ringing loudly in heaven. Hannah pleaded her case before God without a sound. 1 Samuel 1:13 says, Hannah was praying in her heart, and though her lips were moving, her voice could not be heard. What results should we expect when we practice biblical meditation? Psalm 1 tells us what to expect when we meditate on God's word. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or set foot on the path of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, yielding its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither, and who prospers in all he does. For the Lord guards the path of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Meditating on God's word takes away fear from our hearts. Hear my voice, O God, in my meditation. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Psalm 64 1. Our souls are not nourished merely by listening to or reading the Word of God. Our souls are nourished. When we take time to inwardly digest the Word of God. That is when the Holy Spirit reveals the deeper truths of God into our hearts. That is when the Lord speaks into our souls. Many Christians, although they have listened to many sermons, make very slow progress towards spiritual maturity. We are excited about the wheat, but we fail to grind it. How are we then to testify to the sweetness of the bread of life? We want the water, and it flows at our feet, but we are not ready to stoop down and drink it. How then can we know that it quenches all thirsts? Let us pray. Lord our lives will be deeply blessed. If we will but spend some time meditating on your wondrous promises. Just as a touch of the Saviour's garment. Bruff healing to the woman in distress. So shall our lives be healed. So shall we prosper in all we do. If we will but spend time meditating on your word. Grant us the grace to sit quietly at your feet. And know you more, so that your love will be shed abroad in our hearts. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.